I'm too scared to type into Jurassic Park. I'm too scared to type into Jurassic Park. Because I definitely didn't clear my history. All right, let, let's get started, let's get started. So, I fulfilled my promise. I did, I did. All right, let's get going. So, Hihachi is like, am I gonna order? I'm gonna order the top 20, and then I'm gonna order the bomb 10. This, I don't really care. So, this is just gonna be out of order, right? Not even ordered. So, yeah, Hihachi's in there. I don't, I don't think he's top 20. I don't think he's bomb 10, so he's in there. Kind of self-explanatory. Kazi is definitely top 20. This is stupid mix-ups. Free neutral electric. Uh, amazing jobs, amazing punishment. Can't really say much. He's definitely in there. Akuma's still top 5. Like, he can still jump over moves and kill you. He can still hurt you a lot from minus 10 moves. He can still... He still has a 15 frame invisible load that goes into a full combo. Like, there's no daddy's top 5 in the bathroom surgery, I hope it went well. Now, this one might be a bit spicy. But I do think Asuka's in the top 20. Maybe like the bottom of the top 20, maybe top 15 to 20. But I think she's in there. She, some of the best counter moves in the game. S some of the best anti pickball moves in the game. One of the better wall games. One of the... Her lows are okay. Check this card. I'm kind of busy. Oh my god, Dean. That bear, that bear be like... No comment. No comment. So Asuka... You know, like I said, one of the best counter tools in the game. One of the best wall games. Her, her punishment holds her back. And her... Her offense holds her back a little bit. But it, we can work with it. Like, when I get to the end, I probably will have to move some places around, so don't take these as 100% so far. Yeah, I think Jin's in the top 20 as well. Ford 4 is a crazy neutral tool. He has health suite mix-ups, he has great hit convertible mids with Dunford 1-4. Sick punishment 2-4, 14 frame while standing. Uh, yeah. It's just mainly the Ford 4. It's, it's in insane space control, and 2-1 is still busted. So yeah, he is in the top 20. Lars... I think he improved a lot in this season. Like, they gave him such unnecessary wall carry. So I think he's gonna be in everyone else. I think he's gonna be in everyone else. But we'll see as we go on. Lily, I do think is bomb time. Like, she doesn't have good counter tools. Uh, her lows aren't the best. Especially if the other person can see 444. Uh, her punishment is good. Her combos are alright. If you can land the back turn ender. Uh, very specialist character. But I think the lack of counter tools really holds her back. So yeah, she's in there for now. Eliza. I don't know why people think this character is so bad. Because uh, she is straight up one of the best wall games. Uh, Magic 4 is insane, her her lows aren't the best, but well timed stem forest will get you the wall from anywhere. Ask a damn player, yeah, yeah, she's top 5 and all. Uh, this is a lot higher than where people put her actually. Yeah, her sidestep is really good. Her jump back and seeing something with into the X-Dive Kick giving you a combo, that is something no other character can do. Not even the Kuma Geese can do something like that, like the, the, the jump back. The usage of jump back. So Eliza has her own strengths. I, I do think Alisa is top 20. Like, uh, maybe here for now. FC, her FC low is literally close to being broken. Magic fork, stopping movement. Uh, really good approach at running moves. Power crush is stupid. Great punishment. Uh, I think her combos hold her back a little bit because they're not the best. But this character is insane. And I don't know why people don't talk about her enough. 
or Einzen, everyone else, who cares? I'm only gonna order him. I don't need to say much. I don't think he's top 20, but I don't think he's bomb 10. So I think he just goes in there pretty straightforward. I think Devil Jin is definitely top 5. Great, great neutral. Uh, you know, Hell Sweep, give him full combo. He has this option to go into plus frames instead with raw damage. He's a Mishima, so he's gonna have amazing jabs, amazing mobility with Wave Dash. And Electric being Space Control. Yeah, Alisa is insane. She could be top 10, but let's see as we go on. I think Dragonov will be on everyone else, who cares? So yeah, I mean, not much to say again. Like like these characters, not top 20, but not bottom 10, so in here. Some rough order or whatever. Uh, Paul, I think, is top 10. He still has his demo. He still has his um his wall game. He still has very high damage output. His rager cancel is still there, even though it scales. Then it's still a good option. Insane punishment. Uh, even after watching today's heroes dragon off, I mean a player can make a character look good. He's new wall ender. Yeah, three two into the two. Like, he gets like max damage up the wall and retains a lot of Oki. Okay. It's pretty insane. But uh, there are better characters than him, and he is nerfed. Like, his nerfs were like actual nerfs. So he went from like top 5 to, to top 10, basically. Law? I'm actually not sure. He, uh, definitely not top 5, but top 10, I guess. Maybe like the top of top 20. We'll, we'll see as we, we'll, we'll, we'll move people around. As we as we go on, but for now I think he could be in the top ten. Good pokes back four basically shuts down everything. Um, then back three it doesn't knock down anymore, but it's still a great low. Uh, three plus four is like arguably the best way punisher in the game. Dragon hammer being such a sticky pressure tool. Yeah, that's what I mean. Prayer hand we'll sort them out as we go on. So Bob, Bob is criminally underrated. I think he might be in the top of top 20 or at the bottom of top 10. Again, we'll see as we go on. But this character, I always thought he had an insane poking game. He has moves that track both ways. His counter hit tools are crazy. Crash Dash 1 being very hard to whip punish and a normal hit launcher. Um. Yeah, like, but his pokes are crazy, especially with the Denver 1 2 being minus 10. And he has a new follow up as well. Yo, Des, what's up? So, yeah, Bob is, I don't know, man. Definitely overlooked. Julia. Uh, top 5. I mean, it's kind of hard to contest that, right? Like, maybe the bottom of top 5. Because I think these characters are better so far. But forward one is basically free neutral. Then you have to look out for stuff like running one, and then her wall game is arguably one of the best, if not the best. War drums, bone arrow, four for three at the wall. Uh, her punishment's okay. It's mainly like the big mix up, the big mix ups that she has, as 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 well as the suffocating space control. King, okay, we'll, we'll go to the characters in order as we go along here. See, we'll go through them, we'll go through them. So I think Brian is top 10. I think Taunt is legit broken. I know it's I know it has a big execution curve to it, but I played against Bilal's Brian in Ukraine, and I was just thinking, why am I dying for blocking? Hey, uh, this, this is like legit unfair. Like he, he'll, he'll get like a 4-3 on me, He'll carry me to the wall, then I just died, I guess. If I didn't stay on the ground, if I stay on the ground, I'll eat down four, I'll eat the uh, cross circle back four, and then I'm in the same situation again. Yeah. Like, maybe I'm not dealing with the taunt okay correctly, like I'm delaying my tech roll, or I'm checking immediately, I'm trying to mix up, but he's just a such, like, broken okay. <laughs> and Bilal's doing taunt chat up around me constantly, I'm like, can I can I please not get launched for blocking? <laughs> so yeah, I, 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 for now Brian is definitely in top ten. Good. And soccer and yeah, the hatchet kick 
It's so loaded for a man to start being low. It's you're supposed to side walk left against it, but that's very difficult to do. And it does so much for a man starting. It gives that follow up on counter hit into taunt Oki mid screen. That low needs to be man's 14, by the way. That low needs to be man's 14 at this point. Either nerf the tracking or make it man's 14. It shouldn't be like pretty much homing. But yeah, for now, Brian's in there. Steve, I would say, is in top 10 as well. Like, Denver 2 got nerfed. But he's still Steve. He still has free whiffs. He still has back one. He still has the wall game with Denmark 1 2 and Kusiak 1. He still has a uh, insane punishment. His jowls is crazy. The 1 2 1 being natural and then dockable. There's a lot to Steve. So, yeah, I don't think Steve really changed. So, yeah. He's, he's like, he was top 5. Maybe arguably the best character. But he is definitely drops down. But again, this will change as we go on, I think. I think Nina would be in the top of this tier. Now, this, this is not ordered. Like, I'm not going to order this. But I would say she'd be in the top of this pool. Because, like, she has, she has her flaws, but she has her strengths. She has... You know, like, we all know her size that won't cancel wall pressure, her wall carry with the butterflies. Um, I think her range just kind of holds her back a little bit. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I don't know how, I'm just factoring these on, like, raw strengths of the character. This isn't a versatile tier list, this isn't a depth match tier list. This is just if the character is just good or not, you know, depending on their tool set and how to compare it to the rest. But yeah, I think for now, Nina's gonna be in here. Gang, are you? Yeah, I think it's also gonna be in here. Because he has, he has suffocating. Well, he has suffocating pressure. But he needs to be up close to do it. And he, he doesn't have um, a 10 frame jab. So that would, like, I think that really holds him back. No 10 frame jab. But, like, he, obviously, his pressure is insane. His lows are insane. His damper two is stupid as fuck. But there are better characters, I think. There are better characters. Shay? Nah. See, sh there's two different tiers for Shay, in my opinion. There's an Shayu who can do the infinite very consistently. So basically, Shayu with the infinite has the highest wall damage I put in the game. So if she can do that, she's a top 20 character. If Shayu can't do that, I think she'd be a den here. But I think Shayu, um, like you have to be, no, I don't, this, I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but I think Shay to make Shayu really shine, you really need to understand the character. You need, you need to know where AOP works. What version of AOP works? Are we talking about side set right AOP? Are we talking about FC AOP? Are we talking about uh, what's like side set right AOP, FC AOP, normal AOP stuff like that, right? So I think to make Shayu really strong, you need to be like really knowledgeable with the character. She's a very very specialist character. So Shayu with infinite goes here. Shayu with that infinite goes in here. AOP then yeah yeah yeah. So, I don't know, she's she's like literally, there's literally two placements for her and it depends on what the player knows with the character. So I'll leave her, I'll leave her in here for now, for average, but let, let, she might go up as we go on. Yeah, Feng is top 20, fuck this character. <laughs> uh, that Mach 3 buff is insane, he is really good okay afterwards. Uh, where would, I would put him here, I think, or roughly here. The Mac 3 is insane. KCR, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, man. Uh, Kempo is still stupid. Because, um... He, uh... If you, if you try to attack Feng, stuff that normally works on most characters won't work on Feng. Because Anya... Is Sabaki was made safe? As far as... No. 
there was something else made safe. And he's better wall carry now. He's, he has better combos now because of this new screw and the new wall carry ender. Uh, his punishment is decent. Wait, his 10 frame is decent. He has a shoulder, a 13 frame. It was, but it's mainly the campo for me because that can like ignore a lot of characters' options. But yeah, I think Feng deserves his spot in top 20. And his lows are so, so, so good. I think it might have one of the best set of lows in the game. I'll, I'll answer that later on, Pop. Leo, I think just goes on everyone else who cares. Yeah, like not top twenty, not top twenty, not top, t not bottom ten. I think her pokes hold her back a little bit. Like she's she's good job strings, but her downforce one is kind of bad. Uh, just her poking game is a bit bad in general, and she doesn't have much going for her in counter tools. So uh, she's a good wall game. But a lot of characters have good wall games. So yeah, I think she goes in. Her health sweep is really cheap. But I think elsewise, otherwise, she doesn't she doesn't really shine in other areas. And her combo her damage I put is pretty low with that walls. So she would suffer an infinite quite a bit. Yoshi, I think is bomb ten. His basics are bad. His lows are bad. FC down for four is launch punishable for something that he needs to use quite often. Like, his oak, his, he shines in Oki, but I know he has a new wall ender. It's like Dragonfly into two, Dragonfly into four or some shit. But he still has lower damage than everyone else. And the fact that he needs to use Oki to make up for the damage that everyone else gets. And it, on top of that, his basics are just bad. Like, his Death one's kind of meh. Her lows are meh. Uh, her, his lows are meh. Um... Yeah, just not. I don't know. He just doesn't really shine. Like he's an okay character, but at this point in the game, he definitely falls behind. He got super power corrupt. King, I would say is top twenty. How many do we have here? Okay, we got three more slots for top twenty. But um, yeah, King. Uh, four four one might be one of the best buttons in neutral. Chain grabs are cheap. Uh, his troll game in general is cheap. Giant Swing being a 1 plus 2 break is just, is pretty gross. Uh, yeah, it's mainly the, the grab game and 4 foot 1 and then 10 foot 1 2. Mm, sorry, yeah. 1 break with 1 plus 2 animation. Sorry, yeah. yeah. And then, like, his tr if a king that can do instant Shining Wizard as well as Giant Swing, it, like, it's literally a Kind of 50 50 grab mix up. Yeah, I'll we'll get onto Claudio soon. Where is he? He's here. Jack. Yeah, we need to start filling these up. I think Jack would go in. For now, we'll go into everyone else who cares. But he might be in the bottom 10, but we'll see as we go on. But um, yeah, for now, you can go in everyone else. Like, his lows are amazing, but they're kind of low reward. And in a game where low parry, Gives you a full combo into the wall, into wall game, wall damage, wall pressure. He gets a. I think he just kind of. Like, it, it, feel, it almost feels like he's on the wrong game. And Jack Hammer got tracking nerfed like seasons ago. And stuff like that. Yeah, that new Claudio move is insane. I agree. It's it's pretty insane. Safe mids that goes in Starburst. Yeah, I think Eddie's. You know what? I don't have after after tag two. I have no sympathy. Fuck this character. He can rock down here. After tag two, he can rock down there. If anyone play against tag two Eddie or Christy, you will understand. This character should be here. He should be like way down here. I don't want to hear anything about this character. He can stay down here. But yeah. But yeah, not much tracking. Relax mix-ups aren't as good as before. Um, yeah, I know. I don't fuck him. He's there. Katarina. I think Kat is fine. But what is fine in this game, you know? Um, like, her pokes are good. Like, her poking... Her poke game is extremely good. Downford 1-1, her jab strings, back one into Harrier... 
the new low helps a lot. Her wall carry is insane. Her damage I put is good. Her damage I put, especially without walls, is very, very good. But again, at the end, we'll shuffle some places, fill up these and fill up these. We'll shuffle around. But, like, I play Cat a lot myself. So, like, her poke game is super, super good. But let, let's see as we go on. Kasumi, I think, stopped top 20. Like, you can shoot this character as many times as you want. But a core, her core design is always going to be very good. Some of the best jobs, one of the best, if not the best effort one in the game. It only off online doesn't online Tekken doesn't assist. This is only offline. Online Tekken doesn't assist. Um, jobs is amazing. Denver one's amazing. Magic four. I think her, she might struggle with combats a little bit. And her damage without walls is pretty poor. Or her damage with walls against female characters with small hitboxes is kind of poor. But she, her core design is just always going to be amazing. Gigas. I would think he... Like, I think people automatically put Gigas in bomb 5. But I think uh, he actually moved up into, top t into bomb 10. Because he has some of the best tracking in the game. Like, he can't step Gigas. And then when he can't step Gigas, you're forced to fight 2D against him. And then he has shit like Jab, 4 for 2, uh, down for 3. All pretty decent tools. And uh, 1 2, just being a very, very consistent punisher. Yeah, Boris, he's in, he's in top 10 because Taunt is broken. Basically. But yeah, I don't think he's like bomb 5 anymore, but he, he deserves a spot in there. Claudio? Nah, it's a bit of a fan favorite in the chat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Yeah, I say we go in here. Like, decent punishment. That new move helped him a lot. Like, well, the new move is you can delay, you can delay it to make a track, right? Save mid, goes in starburst. Uh, crazy whip punishment. Like, if he whip punishes you, it, it's gonna hurt, especially in starburst. Four one plus two. Um, his wall game is crazy. We all know it, right? Size so of four, back one, and then when he hits you with the wall, when he was splats you, back dash, uh, back two resplat, and then that. Big, big wall combo. And the Denver 3 hit confirmable, 14 frame hit confirmable mid. Yeah. Pretty not talked about character. But certainly in here. Certainly there's a, there's a spot in here. I think Shaheen, everyone else, who cares? Like, this isn't, this isn't orders, by the way. This, this tier is not ordered. So, because I, I don't really care enough to order them. They're like, just in everyone else. But, um, yeah, I think. Not top 20, but not bomb 10. Don't need to say more. Josie. I actually might think bomb 10 for Josie. Because... I don't know. Like, some has to go in there, and I think she 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 deserves it. Cause, yeah. Switch stance. Now, I... I I played. I had a big session with Josie a few weeks ago. I played her for like two weeks in a row or something like that. Like I played a lot of Josie recently, and I think if the other person understands the switch stance mix-up, it could actually be against her. Like the mix-up is against her because the most words that she gets is a crouch dash three, for example. But she risks the conditioning she has to do to you could get her launched with the switch one right so i think that mix up is actually not in her favor it, it's annoying but i don't know if it's you know i think it's actually against her and like her her combo her dam her damage is fine her carry is fine her lows are a bit committal even done for well not done for but yeah, horribly linear. She's very linear. Like, Sight Sight Riot is very strong against her. And even if she hits you with, say, Crash Dash 3, for example, she's still... She can't really use those plus frames as well. 
So like you can still size that right a lot of things after she hits you anyway. So she takes a lot of conditioning to make her stuff work. So yeah, I think she serves a spot down there. Raven, I think, is in top 20. I think she can take the last spot in top 20. Because great mix-ups, great FC mix-ups, very high damage I put. While standing to, especially with the mobility of the snake dash, it is pretty insane. Like, she touches you, she touches you see what, while standing to. She's gonna carry you to the wall, she's gonna do this, and her carry is good as well. Her wall damage is one of the best. She has very good tracking, very good mid pokes. I think Marduk would be in the top 20 and Safina top 10. Yeah, that looks alright to me so far. It was a Lee. Great poking game. Down 3 counter at launcher. Great keep back, back 4. It's arguably the best 3D 10 frame punish in the game, which is important. While signing 3 3 hurts a lot as a punisher. 4 4 4. High crush can go into some mids. Natural hit launcher. Let's see. Crazy character, right? Yeah, I think bears suck. Where's the other one? So they, they obviously count as one character. 
and I think uh, Geese. I think top five, yeah. He hits you with, he hits you with two forward one, and you just you just kind of just die, essentially. Great wall game with Dunford two, size up three. Great job, great Dunford one. Mm. It's mostly the the fact you could just murder you off at of, uh, two forward one. Like he, his combos are so consistent, they work everywhere. They will carry you to the wall. Uh, maybe he would be a top of top ten. But definitely in the top 10 area. Enough space, my top 10. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I think Noctis would be like here, like bomb of this tier. I know, Boris, but we, we gotta we got, we got lower them, man. We gotta, we gotta cut it down. I think Lay is like, who gives a shit tier list? Anna is in the 50 50 tier because she could be the best character in the game or she could be the worst character in the game. So, Anna in a short set is super, super scary. Because her, her, dam her damage on a mix up. Thanks for the follow, man. Thank you very much. So, Anna could. Just destroy you or be destroyed. It depends on the reads of the Ana player. So it, it, for me, it's too hard to put Ana on a tier list because, like, how can you, right? Like, did you guess right? Okay, she's the best character in the game. Did you guess wrong? Okay, she's the worst character in the game. So, yeah. All right, Marduk. Boom, top 10. This character's fucking stupid, and I think John agrees. Um, his lows are amazing. Is let me let me see the rest. So yeah, um, really good low pokes. His Denver one is insane. His combat potential is one of the highest. Uh, his mids are great. His Denver one is great. Well, Kazi is good, man. I don't know. I don't know why he said otherwise. But um, yeah, I think Marduk definitely stirs a spot in top. Great wall game. He touches you once, he could potentially die off that. Rage drive damage is stupid. I think Armor King's in bomb 10. His tracking sucks. His damage I put's good. But his tracking, in my opinion, really holds him back. Yeah, he has good pokes. Along with a huge robbery comeback factor and great lows. Yeah, I think Armor King is just like... Pretty bad tracking. So yeah, I think it's their spot down there. Negan's in hook. Who cares? Everyone else tiering is who gives a shit like. I think Fuckerman's st still top five. Maybe like this order. I think I'll bump Law then. Ariella, thank you very much. I hope you had a good one. I hope you had a good one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, um, I, okay, I'm gonna bump down Law. Safina's for sure top 10. So I think Law deserves a spot. Oh fuck. Who, who, who are you removing? Forced to watch me uh, apologize for that. Alright, uh, we got a. Yo, welcome guys, welcome. Well, Baron and Brian, I don't know about that. Brett, I'm sitting on the fact that Taunt is broken. Kinda of hard. I don't want to bump. I I I, I don't want to bump Ascot then. Mm. Okay, fine. But she's on top. She's on top here. Okay, let's establish that. 
and a bomb fight. You know, it's 50 50 tier. Yeah, thanks, Ariel. Thank you very much again. But yeah, I think that's, that's 10, right? Okay. Okay, no, I can count, don't worry. Make a top 25. Yeah, actually, no, I will. Okay, no, we save Oscar. And Kasumi as well. And Jin. So, yeah. Lady is definitely in the top 25. Well. I think her, her frame data and her pokes are pretty bad. Her whiff recovery is good. But her frame data is bad. in here anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven. Okay, there's 15 here. Because her jabs are good, yes. But her Denport one is bad. Her... The frame data and her lows are bad. I think people just... Like, or over exaggerating the character because oh, you're only playing against the character online. So, she would be like barely here, in my opinion. I think Kuni would be in here anyway, like the top of here. I think the top 10 is fine. I think. But yeah, I think Kuni is good. Like, like these. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll fuck it. I'll just order this tier. You can just make a slip on. I mean, the game's balanced enough that you can argue positions like this, right? We we need one more bomb fight character. I think Yoshi sucks. And let's put one more down here. But not not more sucky than these characters though. No, Anna's, Anna's just hard to put on tier list because she can rob you or she can die very fast. Mm. Oh yeah, true. Another, we need our bottom five. Yeah, fuck you guys anyway. Okay, I think, um, yeah, I'll put Cap down here. Like, sh her comeback, like, if, she, if she's not getting counter it, so I need her comeback potential is kind of bad. And I think a lot of people can do what Leo can do at the moment. He's joking about Julia. It's a, we, we, Julia players know she's both from it. Yeah, I think Josie will be here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think that's okay. But the top 25 is ordered, so she would be here. Yeah, that looks fine to me. Like obviously like everyone's gonna be saying no this character's in this tier or no this character's in this tier. The game is balanced enough to you know argue but different positions, right? You know, laser what's up? Like the game is balanced enough to argue different positions. So if you if you say like oh Chloe's not that bad, she could be in here, it's a science of a good game, right? So yeah, that's what I think anyway. So yeah, I think I, I think Kuma's still the best character in the game. You can still do Akuma things. How do I nerf Akuma? Oh, I mean, you have to kill the character essentially, like remove FADC or 
make fireball FHC plus 13 or something, or... Make, make his chump have a bigger hurt box, so it's easier to float him. Yeah, it's okay, I'm, I'm banning you, man. You're a proper weird in ICFC the other day. I appreciate the love, man, but you can't go insulting my friends like that. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. No meter gain from taking damage. That could also be an, an option. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. I'll play some ranks because I'm about to play a first of 10 exhibition with Dean. A random select where he takes a shot every time I win a game. But yeah, I don't think it's totally unreasonable. DP FATC? Hmm. Let me just double check. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's okay to me. Alright, let's play some Tekken. 